Today we're going to go over the difference between speed, velocity, and acceleration. <clears throat> and we're going to start with the definition of speed. And speed is a scalar quantity that refers to how fast an object is moving. Okay, so then let's see. If we're having something go fast, <clears throat> it's going to be a high speed, which is going to be something like this. Okay, and then we have a slow <clears throat> movement. We're going to have low speed, which would be the numerical value, which would be something like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I want you to notice how it could be the same distance, <clears throat> but what matters here is time. Okay, that's what's going to be the big difference. And then <clears throat> let's go over the formula for speed, which is speed is equal to distance divided by time. Distance divided. Okay, and then we're going to go over velocity. Velocity is a vector quantity that refers to the rate at which one object changes its position. <clears throat> so then this is, now here we have the velocity, which is equal to the change, that's what the triangle means, change in position divided by time. Okay, and now we're going to compare speed and velocity. So then, let's see, the definition for speed says it's a scalar quantity, okay, scalar and this means magnitude. Now, it's okay if you don't know what magnitude means, magnitude, because this is just a numerical value. Value, okay? And velocity <clears throat> has the word vector quantity, so it's going to be vector. And vector is going to be direction, which is what is the difference between um, speed and velocity. This one has direction and magnitude. So, and magnitude. Okay, and now one way that I remember this is um, velocity has VE in it and vector has VE in it. And vector is a villain in the, in the film Despicable Me, which I'm going to play a small video of, and this is what helps me remind, um, it helps me remember what the definition of vector is, okay? Come on, internet. Come on, internet. Ah, oh, come on. Fine. That's how I remember <clears throat> vector and how vector contains direction and magnitude. And now, you know what, let me show you, well, tell you about an example. An example of speed would be kind of like, <clears throat> we can measure how fast I'm typing. See, I'm typing really, really fast, really, really fast. And that speed, that's going to be a high speed, okay? And I can type really slow also. And that would be a low speed. <clears throat> and this is something that does not require to change position, which is one thing that velocity does. In velocity, you are to move from one, point A to point B, and that's your change in position. <clears throat> and now let's erase this. And let's see, is anybody going out of town this weekend? Yes. Yes, you are going out of town. Okay, so my friend Lisa is also going out of town, okay? She's going to Phoenix. She's going from El Paso to Phoenix and she's going from here to here okay and this is a total of 440 miles approximately and it took her a total of eight hours okay so since we are changing from position from El Paso to Phoenix we are gonna have velocity and the, the formula for velocity would be what is it <clears throat> distance over time and we're going to have, let's see, we have the distance, which is right here. It's going to be 440 miles. And we have time, which is 8 hours. So then we do this, and it's going to give us a total of the velocity, 55 miles per hour. Okay, 
So this would be our velocity right here. Now, <clears throat> let's see. When you're going on a trip, I'm sure that all of you have been at least on a little bit of a trip, a short trip, and <clears throat> you are always asking your mom and your dad or whoever you're traveling with, and are we there yet? And are we there yet? And are we there yet? Okay, and I'm going to show you what to do so that you don't bother your parents this way, okay? Now, up on the screen, I have here a sign that you typically see that you typically see when driving and let's say that let's say that we're in the car with Lisa okay and instead of bothering Lisa saying and are we there yet and are we there yet and are we there yet we're gonna what you do is you look for this sign okay now this sign says that it is the sign says that you are this means that you are 256 miles away from from Phoenix so from where you're at it's still this many miles till you get to Phoenix and now what we are looking for is time and since we're still going from point A to point B we can use the same formula which is velocity and it would be distance over time and now see this time we're looking for time okay so what we can do is we already have distance which is 256 miles and we have the velocity now the velocity is easy to calculate and this would be by looking at the speedometer um, on your parents' dashboard, or Lisa's dashboard, I guess. And it looks something like this, and then it's in front of the steering wheel right here, and that's what would be behind it. And we have here usually like it's 20, and then 40, and then 60, and then 80, okay? Now, the, the needle is going to tell you where, um, at what speed you're going, okay? So it would be here, let's say that they're driving normal, so it would be something like 75 miles per hour, okay? So then this would be the velocity. So we have velocity, which is 75, okay? And then divided by time. And then now we're going to be solving for t. So we just use regular simple algebra. algebra, And we're going to multiply times t, multiply times t. We get rid of the t. And then now we're going to have here 256 equals t times 75. 75 and t are multiplying. So we're going to do the opposite divide to get rid of <coughs> the 75 on this side. Bring it to this side. So this cancels, and here we're going to have, <clears throat> it's going to be 3.41, I believe, hours. So from this point, which you see that, that, that sign in the road, you still need 341 hours more to go. Now, does this mean, does, does this mean that we're going to get there right away in 3.4 hours? No. Why? Because of the next next word, which is acceleration. And acceleration is a vector quantity that is defined as a rate at which ob an object changes in velocity. And as you can see, it's the same as velocity, a vector quantity. And now the what it changes, the object changes, is in velocity, not position. So it's going to be similar to velocity, but this one is going to be that you change the velocity as you're going. Okay? So then we're going to go over, this is the formula for acceleration, which is acceleration equals to the final velocity minus the initial velocity divided by time. Okay? And now I have an example here. Let's say that we have acceleration equals to, you're going... You start at zero, right? Because your car is not moving meters per second. And then you accelerate up to, you end up in uh, 50 meters per second. And we're gonna, this took a total of five seconds, okay? So then we're gonna have 10, well, 50 minus zero is 50. 50 divided by five is 10, so 10 meters per second, okay? And that's gonna be your total acceleration. Now, and the way that I can show you here what this would look like on your trip would be this with a graph. So we're going to do a graph. Okay, this would be the acceleration and this would be time. Okay, and this would be zero and then say that this is 75. Okay, this is 75 miles per hour. So then you start, right? You start and you, and you accelerate and then you get to your desired speed and then you're going. No, 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 no. Now this is because you're maintaining your same um, velocity and then you slow down because grandma has to go to the restroom so you go to the restroom and then she, you know you do your thing put gas whatever and then you get back on the boat and then again you accelerate 
and then you try to make up for the lost time so you go a little bit faster and you're going and then all of a sudden whoever's driving which is i guess in this case lisa she gets mad and then she speeds up but then she really says oh no this is a bad thing to do i want to slow down because there could also be a cop so then she slows down she slows down okay and then she passes the cop and then she's like okay i'm gonna go back to my regular speed and then she maintains that speed and then you're going and then you get to your um desired destination and then you slow down and then you're there now the reason that you didn't get that at the exact same time that you would have calculated that you would have gotten to depending on the on the speeds is because of this the change in velocity which is also known as acceleration or deceleration and that is the difference between all of them um, that's it